This video is in continuation with uh, our configuration series and this is video number 8. So I would recommend you know you should see first uh, video number from 1 to 7 what we have covered and just a background in video 1 to 3 we have covered setup systems 4, 5, 6 uh, and 7 we have covered mappings uh, which includes everything and now in this video we will talk about uh, video in video number eight we will talk about clearing transfer and configuration consistency check so just to a uh, side note before we start configuration consistency uh, sorry this one uh, clearing transfer it is more related to central payment so if any area is skipped uh, in future you will be able to see that uh, area in uh, central payment videos so what what is uh, activation of clearing trans source uh, transfer from source system so in this activity what you do generally is when you implement central payment you activate the transfer of clearing from one system to another so it's like you know you have an invoice in source system that get replicated to cfin system uh, and then that when the invoice is cleared in source uh, that the, rep the clearing is also replicated to cfin system so it's it's a case when they have no uh, central payment generally but before you activate you should uh, transfer for logical system you should be aware of restriction described of course you have to read this note and then when you activate the following clearing information in document that have already been technically cleared is not updated so in that case you know when and when you implement central payment in that case what happens is uh, then the documents are already technically cleared so you have to aware be aware that these dates clearing date clearing uh, entry date and document number of the clearing is not updated because those documents which are technically cleared uh, have marked in AUGBL they will just be marked with the cross cross means uh, technically cleared so but there will be no uh, document number in the clearing document so it again depends on the strategy there is no nothing like you know you have to do this or you don't have to do this it all depends again how you are managing your uh, central payment functionality what is the source of this uh, invoice payment is it a source system you are making payment are you implementing central payment uh, it all depends on the strategy so based on the strategy uh, you have to use this functionality and before you implement this I would recommend to read the central payment uh, functionality master note which involves uh, all the details from functional standpoint it's in nothing much in configuration uh, but it's more of a you know a, a exercise where you execute uh, it's more of an execution exercise so here we open reopen the technically cleared item uh, so first you activate clearing transfer and then you reopen the technically cleared item because now the items are technically cleared as i said au gbl field is filled with cross but now you have to reopen those because now you want to do the clearing transfer and uh, you have to you still want to continue making uh, transfers of the clearing documents as well so in this transaction you can really reopen those technically cleared uh, in the target system but which are still open in the source system so what happens is uh, when uh, when you don't uh, implement central payment uh, you uh, basically uh, you have to make the payment from source system but uh, the items are already technically cleared while replicating to cfin system and then in the later when you decide to implement central payment then you have to open those documents because those are open in source and you have to make the payment from target but in target they are already closed so you open it so that's the activity you reopen the technically cleared item so it is at the point where you decide to use the central payment for example you implement cfin today and for one year you don't implement central payment so you continue using payment system as a source and but all your invoices are technically cleared in target but when after one year you think okay now i have to implement a central payment so then you have to reopen the invoices in target because you will use that as a payment system so that's where we reopen technically cleared item in target system and then this is just a report which is monitoring uh, which allows you to see whether it is uh, uh, cleared or not cleared it is just a monitoring report so as i said it is more of a decision strategic decision which system will be used for payment and then accordingly you execute these reports and the last part of this video is uh, configuration consistency check uh, this is again a report uh, a transactional need when you do initial load before that you have to run this report to ensure system uh, matches both uh, cfin and the target system especially the configurations especially it checks master data it checks configuration it checks currencies document splitting uh, 
to ensure everything is correct everything is mapped in both the system so i will not explain so again there is nothing called configuration for this report this is a standard report which you execute it just gives you a checks and the results how it works what are the results what are the options i would recommend to go to another video which is already available on a specific topic in detail uh, which is uh, configuration consistency check it is there available on the channel already uh, feel free to uh, view this uh, video if you want to get details of what exactly the configuration consistency check is all about So this was video number eight. In video number nine, I will come up with initial load settings, uh, uh, which is we will start working on initial load now. And I will first uh, first video will be covering the initial load settings. I'll discuss the configuration as well as the explanation of uh, of each of the area. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel. Uh, so this is the list of videos already available specifically on central panels. And you see now a lot of videos are there for configuration. Uh, feel free to post your comments in the video section as well as you know do not forget to like and share the chip videos with your peers and colleagues thank you